So this is going to be a short video about um, upgrading the speakers which are rather broken in this uh, Chevrolet Matisse. Going to upgrade from the uh, standard inbuilt ones to actually not a very expensive, quite inexpensive set of uh, Pioneer ones that come with their own speaker grills and everything and small wiring kit that came with it. Um, in this car presently the um, only one of the speakers is working and here's what the sound is like and just turn the volume up a bit so that's the only speaker that's actually working there in the front so I'll pry off these see what fits what doesn't fit and um, I'll try and do a quick update later on Right, okay, that was simple prying up of the plastic covers of the existing speakers here. And um, at first I thought I might have made a bit of a boo-boo because those speakers are a heck of a lot smaller than what I recalled. I'm sure I measured them. Uh, anyway, the replacements I got are four inch. And if I hold these over in place, actually, <laughs> you can see they... Uh, pretty much fit exactly, the footprint's going to be fantastic and they come with their own grills there's a lovely view of the speakers close up that are going to replace those they do come with their own grills which we can I think also put in place of the uh, stock ones these will screw in on top of the speakers as well they just fit in those holes perfectly it's going to be a wonderful replacement so let's see what happens. So next stage, using my little tiny stubby screwdriver there. Just undid those two screws that hold that speaker in place. And the only significant thing here is that they uh, have a specific connector on these speakers, but we're supplied with a couple of little pairs of stubbies which I can crimp on. Uh, some new spades and uh, we'll, we'll just um, adapt them. It's quite easy. I've got my little crimp kit here. So I'll proceed with that and I'll show you the next stage once that's done. So now to make up this little adapter. Um, now on the, on the supplied speakers it's quite clear that the plus and the minus have different spade sizes. Uh, very clear. Um, on the old one, actually both the spades are of the same size, but the speaker does appear to have a, a red minus symbol. So I'm going to take the red minus as being the indicator of the negative side of that speaker. And that's the way I shall wire up the uh, little adapter that I'm about to make. So I've successfully crimped on the uh, spades onto the end of those connectors and I shall try and fit those into the little adapter up there appropriately um, with the appropriate um, you know plus and minus negative positive right around and then we can connect up the speaker before fully fitting it and just have a listen see what that sounds like so there we go um, that's the little adapter cable put in um, that was the non-functioning speaker side so let's before we try to do the other one and put everything away let's have a, a quick listen see what happens let's turn the ignition on a bit turn on the cd here it comes and hopefully oh yes that's definitely got sound coming from it I already hear the difference. This one sounds rather flat in comparison. Yeah, wow, wow, that sounds so good. Haha, <laughs> gonna be pleased with this. And they're gonna look absolutely super. Cheap bloody upgrade, 25 quid, eh? 
and see what happens. Next, I'll just do the other speaker. That's a little bit odd, um, and also what I kind of feared the worst. So if I'd have picked this one here, I might have taken a little red dot as meaning positive, actually, which makes it the opposite way round. I wonder what difference it makes. I will have a good old listen. I'll wire this one up exactly the same way. Um, I'll because that one's got a no, it's a red. And so the red would indicate positive to me, but that's a a minus. <laughs> and this one's got a dot. I don't know if there's any physical way of telling by looking at the speakers which is which, but I shall try them both ways round and see if there's a difference in the actual sound uh, certainly sounded better already anyway I'll wire this one up the same and see what happens so now we have uh, this one wired up as well and actually going back to the small wiring conundrum I just had you know here that the negative lead has a, a stripe on it on those ones and if we look very closely at the other cables that actually matches up with a stripey as well so I'm hoping that uh, that signifies exactly the same thing in which case the mark was the negative not the positive on the speakers so now I've got both speakers wired in not fitted yet let's have another listen probably get some copyright claim on the music here sound coming out of both of the speakers. Alright, we're going to have to just go on to another track I think. See what this music is that's coming up. The speakers in the back are uh, rattling a bit not much now. Maybe I'll replace those with a similar set of these. Here we go. Oh wow, I mean, that just sounds so superb so far. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Into money. Definitely going to get a copyright strike on this if I put it up as a video. And put the video down and have a good old listen. It just sounds bloody superb compared to what it used to. Tell that already. And it looks like it's going to be very simple to fit these back with the uh, grills and all. Oh wow. Oh yes. Oh yes. See the speakers. Oh, that's enough of that. Well, there we go. <laughs> Isn't that a bloody beauty? I only held in with the two fixings instead of the four that came with it. I can't hear any you know, rattles or anything. It's certainly a hell of a lot better than what was in there before. Not the top high end stuff, but you know, for a little tiny car like this, it's certainly going to improve the sound. I'll maybe look again some slightly bigger ones in the back to uh, do the bass a little bit more as well. But that's, uh, that's just superb get on and do the other one. Oh. Here's the final result. Don't they look superb? Don't they look absolutely fantastic? Sitting there. And they sound bloody superb. Yes. I'm not really sure. So the next thing is he wants a Bluetooth upgrade to this thing. Uh, but you know what? For 25 quid, best upgrade ever.